My name is Tom Peter, and today I'm going to take you through a lower body and abs dumbbell workout. You can do this as a follow along with me with just two pairs of dumbbells, one heavy pair, one lighter pair, or one adjustable pair. We're going to start with six exercises using the heavier pair. I'm going to be using 20 kilos, that's 44 pounds per dumbbell, but use whatever's right for you. We're doing 30 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Halfway through, we'll take a break, we'll switch down to those lighter dumbbells doing six new exercises. Three rounds per section. Let's get into the workout. There's a warm up linked in the description below if you want More. to do that, or you could just go a little bit lighter for that first round. So, we're going to kick things off with a great quad exercise. We're going to do a single dumbbell goblet squat. So, you're going to need to grab one of your heavier dumbbells and we're going to do a nice upright squat. Hold it close to your chest, maybe even gently touching your chin. Squat down back up. Make sure you keep those knees driven out to the sides. You want to keep a nice upright torso position. Your heel should stay on the floor, but you should spread the pressure evenly between the front of your foot, the back of your foot, and the inside and outside edges. Next up, we're gonna to go to an ab exercise. So generally throughout the workout, we're gonna alternate leg with ab exercises. We're gonna do some alternating V-ups. We want a nice braced start position. With your head and upper back just off. So we're alternating legs but we're going to bring the body every time and when i'm coming in into this open position my lower back's not arching off the mat so i'm maintaining ab tension throughout the whole set all right next up we're back to a leg exercise we're going to focus more down the posterior chain you're going to need both dumbbells and we're going to do some Dumbbell deadlifts. So we're gonna hit the hamstrings, glutes, lower back with this. So hinge the hips back, allow a slight bend in the legs, and then scoot through to the top. Hips push back, bend in the legs slightly. I'm not trying to bring the dumbbells all the way to the floor. I'm bringing them maybe halfway down my shins or slightly lower. You don't want a turnout of your feet for this. You want straight feet. You can turn out for the squats, but not for the deadlifts. Let's get one more in. Don't worry too much about the time. I always finish your reps off. Back to the mats now. We're gonna do a reverse crunch. I'm gonna take my head and shoulder blades slightly off to engage my abs. Have my hands by my side. We're going to roll in the knees to the chest and bring in the legs back down. Don't bring the feet so far down that you arch off the mat. Even in that bottom position, we're trying to keep contact with your lower back. Really draw those knees up as if they're trying to touch your chest and keep that knee angle consistent throughout. An easy way to cheat that is to flick the heels at the top. So next up, we're going to hit the calves. So moving down on the body. We're going to add some pauses at the top of each rep. So we're going up, squeeze and down, squeeze and down. Find that balance. I'm going to focus on one point on the floor just to help my balance. So we're trying to hold at the top and minimize the contact time on the floor. So we're increasing the time under tension on the set, trying to make the set as difficult as possible. So no time on the floor. Imagine hot potato, your heels off the floor. Let's hold for the last one. Okay, next up, I'm actually gonna use the dumbbells for this because I'm gonna do some wipers. So. I'm going to put the dumbbells out to the side. I'm actually going to put my hands 
underneath the dumbbells. That's gonna help keep my shoulder blades down. We're gonna drop down to one side. Oh, a little crack in my back. And then to the other side. So you wanna keep both shoulder blades on the floor. And if you're struggling with this, you can go for these 90 degree wipers. This actually feels really good for the lower back, but it's also a great core strength exercise. So you're dropping down, but you're trying to keep the opposite shoulder on the floor. Always finish your rep off. Oh. So there's one round complete. If you found that too easy, then just up the weight. There's always gonna be a weight that challenges you and vice versa, if you found that too hard, then you're gonna to wanna to lower the weight. So we've got a brief rest, but get ready to go again. We've got those goblet squats to start round two. So my knees pushed out. Got a slight turn out of the feet. Just whatever's comfortable for your hips. Don't let the tailbone collapse excessively under at the bottom of your squat. You wanna stack your spine on top of one another, so don't lean forwards too much and keep this dumbbell nice and close to your body. All right, we've got those alternating V-ups. So back onto the mats. If you're struggling to go for the full V-up, you can just do a little crunch variation where we have a smaller range of motion. Remember, we want that engaged bottom position so you're not just dropping into an arch at the bottom of each rep. I keep that kind of hollow hold position locked in. Great job. So we're gonna hit down the back of the body with those deadlifts next. So remember, no turn out to the feet for a deadlift. We've got a narrower stance and feet pointing forwards. Hips hinge back, slight bend in the legs because it's not a Romanian deadlift. A Romanian deadlift would be where you keep your legs almost straight throughout but we've gone a little heavier hopefully and we're allowing a slight leg bend so it's a mix of a press and a hip hinge always finish that last rep off we've got the reverse crunches next so we're going to roll those knees to your chest. Head and shoulders are going to stay slightly off. If you're struggling with your neck, you can rest your head on the floor. But I find by bringing my head and just my shoulder blades or upper back slightly off, it helps to avoid that overarch in the bottom position. If you want to make it harder, keep your legs more bent. If you want to make it easier, keep that angle the same, but try opening the knee angle out and it will feel easier. All right, next up we've got those calf raises. Remember the goal with this is to minimize the time your heels touch the floor and maximize the time you're up in the top of that calf raise. If you're struggling with grip strength, you could get some lifting straps to add onto these, or maybe try using some chalk or liquid chalk, and that'll stop your grip strength being a limiting factor with your leg training. Adding those pauses in while I can track my calf. Oh, let's do a little squeeze at the end of that rep. 
So I'm putting the dumbbells out quite wide, ready for those wipers. I'm gonna stick with that straight leg wiper, or almost straight, I'll put a slight bend in the knee. But if you're struggling, go for that 90 degree wiper. Got all the cracks out my back now, I think. So you're trying to keep the opposite shoulder blade down. You might feel a little chest stretch. Ooh, that's not a bad thing. Just you're controlling the weight of your legs. Finish that rep off. So there's two rounds done. One to go in this first heavy dumbbell section. We'll be changing the exercises after this round and moving down to your lighter weights if you've got some. If you haven't got a selection, you'll have to just give it a go with the heavier ones. Maybe do some body weight alternatives. So those V-Ops next. To your feet now. I've got those dumbbell deadlifts. Feet straight, a little bit narrower than your squat. Hips push back. Make sure the dumbbells aren't drifting forwards. They want to stay in line with the tongues of your shoes or your shoelaces and that will reduce the stress on your lower back. No rounding of the upper or lower back. Keep the lats wrapped back and around your body. Reverse crunch now. Knees to chest, control the lowering phase, making sure that back doesn't arch off the mat. Like I said before, if you want to make it harder, keep your knees very bent, and then you're having to lift the whole weight of your feet, whereas if you straighten, that weight of your feet angle gets a lot easier. Back to your feet now, got those calf phrases. Add in the pause at the top, minimizing the time at the bottom. It's easy to pick one point in the room, just stare at that point, it'll help your balance. Now 
Imagine those pauses. Really try and hot potato those heels off the floor. Let's do one to finish. Oh, okay, got those wipers. You don't have to use the dumbbells for the wipers. You can just put your hands out. But I like the little chest stretch you get as you drop. Your tailbone should be in contact with the floor as you pass through the center point. So if you find your tailbone's lifting off, then you might need to put a little bend into the knees. Great job, you're halfway through. Uh, give yourself a break. We've got 45 seconds off. You can maybe get some water. If you're enjoying this workout, but you'd like a bit more structure to your training, then check out my eBooks. I've got a 12 week dumbbell plan, which I'll link in the description of this video. I've also got a 12 week gym plan, which uses a bench, barbell and dumbbells. Uh, you can do these alongside these workouts. We're gonna start this next round with some alternating reverse lunges. I'm gonna hold the dumbbells in my hand, but you can go just body weight if you want. So lunging down. So we're taking alternating backward steps, dropping the back knee either to gently touch if you've got a soft surface or to come very close to the floor. If you struggle with lunges, Try doing some body weight lunges instead, taking your time a bit. Make sure that front knee isn't collapsing into the center. Okay, this is gonna be one of my most difficult exercises. You might be fine with it, but I really find this tough. We're gonna to do a half side plank with lateral leg lift. So we're gonna chop that bottom leg in half. We're gonna pop up into what I call a half side plank. And we're gonna do these leg raises. You can do this in the full side plank position, but for me, this is gonna be enough to feel those abductors burning on the outside of your hip. This is a popular one in Pilates as well. Pilates is great for hip strength. So we'll borrow some of the best bits for these workouts. Oh, feeling that burn. Now take it to the other side, we've got a little break. So if you wanna go for that full one, you'd just be up like this, doing the full split. But for me, just chopping that bottom leg in half, keeping the top leg straight though, that's gonna be enough. A little tip is, don't turn the toe to the ceiling, that'll be really tempting. Try and point the toe of the top leg directly forwards, and that'll stop you from taking over with your hip flexor and help use that glute medius and abductor. Oh, the second side's always harder because you're always pushing off the bottom leg a bit. Oh, there's a weakness for me. Definitely need to work on that. Okay, we're gonna to get to the feet now. We're gonna work in a lateral plane of motion. I'm just gonna take one of my dumbbells. We're gonna stand in a relatively wide stance, but with enough room to lunge. I'm gonna hold this like a goblet squat, lunge into the side, back up, and then down to the other side. We wanna keep the knee pushed out to the side. Don't let it collapse to the center. The trailing leg is staying straight. And just keep that knee and that hip externally rotated. As you lunge, hips sit back slightly, but don't over lean forwards. A bit tight on that for me first round, but throughout the rounds, that should open the hips up. We're going reaching crunch now. You can take one dumbbell or both. I'm gonna keep the feet on the floor. 
And we're just gonna do a small stack and squeeze action. So up, hold, back down, up, hold, back down. So this is not a full sit up. Your lower back is staying in contact with the floor. We're trying to add a little pause in at the top, a lower with control. If it's too difficult, just take one of your dumbbells. You might find you can get a better workout with that. I'm gonna stay on the floor now. Again, you could take one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna take two. We're gonna stay up in a reaching crunch position. And as we do that, we're gonna do some leg raises. So whether you've got two dumbbells or one, you're gonna bring your head and back of your shoulders off. And then we're going for these leg raises. So we're staying up in the reaching crunch the whole time. When we're in the bottom position, there should be no arching of your lower back off the mat. If that's happening, then just don't go as low down or add a slight leg bend, but make sure that leg bend is staying consistent. But if you're feeling good, point your toes, go nice and low and keep fingers locked in. As you can see from my voice quivering, it's hard to maintain ab tension during that. So we've got a brief break. We're gonna go back to those alternating reverse lunges. Have I got time for some water? One down, two to go, and then that's the workout complete. So alternating backwards steps. This is part of a seven day dumbbell series. This is actually day two. So if you're on that series, you get a stretch day tomorrow. If you're not on that series and you fancy trying it out, go into my channel's playlist and you'll say, see seven day dumbbell series there for you to have a go at. We're gonna go to that half side plank lateral leg lift. The movement's called abduction, taking the leg away from the body. So we're gonna pop into that side plank. We're going for those lateral leg lifts, keeping the toe facing forwards. Make sure you're not sinking into that shoulder. You wanna push away through the elbow. If you're really struggling with that shoulder, you can lie down and just do these, but really make sure you're keeping it nice and strict. Right, let's take it to the other side. Same again, if you're struggling with that shoulder, just take that lying down variation like this. If you've got no shoulder issues, let's go for that side plank version. Feeling that burn. Like I said, for me, this is the hardest exercise. Onto our feet, We've got those single dumbbell in a goblet squat position, alternating side lateral lunges. Maybe you can go a little bit further now into that lunge position. stretch as well as being a good exercise. Oh. Okay we've got those reaching crunches so whether you're taking 
one single dumbbell or two. We're just gonna do that small stack and squeeze crunching action. So head and shoulders reach, squeeze, low of control. We're not reaching towards the knees like that. We should be reaching up towards the ceiling. Staying where you are for this next one, because we're going to do those leg raises. But we're going to go up into that reaching crunch position, maintain that head and shoulders off the floor whilst doing a leg raise. <laughs> Number one priority is that when your legs are lowering, you're not arching off the mats. Make sure you don't bash your shins on the dumbbells. Oh. Two down, just one to go, and then that's the workout complete. got those alternating reverse lunges. Let's go. I get a lot of people asking, uh, oh, you should make more of this type of workout. And uh, usually I've actually made uh, lots of different types that are similar, but you just need to be able to find them. So if you go onto my channel and you'll see across the tabs, there's one, called playlists. If you check out my dumbbells playlist, you'll see all of my dumbbell workouts. You could save some of them to do another day, have a little browse through them. We've got that half side plank lateral leg lift next. So pop up and let's go. Well done if anyone's doing that full side plank variation. You're definitely more advanced than me on this, but we all have weaknesses. So this is something that I could do with working on. And we've got it in today, so that's a good start. Let's switch it to the other side. Definitely a lot harder on this. Oh, I feel the burn already. This is a good one for supporting those muscles that help the lower back as well. Any hip mobility or strengthening usually is good for your lower back as well. All right, onto the feet. Can't say I'm sorry, those are over. Let's go for the lateral lunges, getting that nice hip stretch. Hopefully you're warmed up by now. We can get a little bit of depth into these lunges. Don't collapse the body. You can lean forward slightly for a bit of counterbalance, but uh, make sure you're not rounding your upper or lower back. This knee stays pushed out, feeling that good stretch down the inside here and here. You can speed it up if 
you're feeling good. All right, two hour bonds to finish. Got those reaching crunches and those leg raises. So stick with me, we're nearly there. If you're on the seven day plan, it's a full body stretch tomorrow. And then it finishes with free workouts. Last one, so you don't need to save anything back, make these as neat as possible. We're doing those upper body reaching leg raises. You can take one or two dumbbells. And that's it, well done everybody. That's the workout complete. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find that workout and where in the world are you doing the workout from? Hit the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe. I'll link here, day three of the seven day series and I'll link here, the seven day series playlist. Hopefully, see you again soon for another workout.